everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Brianna and I'm a second year medical student at a DO school so it's Monday from 8 to 12 today I was on campus for the first hour we had a physician come in and present a case about a patient who had an anterior spinal artery infarct very interesting my professor lectured about some stuff I can't tell you what he was lecturing about but he was lecturing about something at around 10 30 there was a patient who came in who was actually a prior student here and now he's a first year resident he talked about what it's like to live with a spinal cord injury, which was also very interesting, very enlightening. And I just had lunch and I watched a lecture today. It was a pharmacology lecture. I honestly was watching it very passively. I didn't gain any information from it, but that's always how it goes when I give the first pass through my lectures. I never really pay attention and it's not until I go through the slides on my own at a later time that I actually start to remember things. I'm about to watch another pharmacology lecture now and then from three to five, I'm gonna be back on campus for one of the patient cases. That's what today is looking like. Oh, also today, there's an all club leader meeting um, from 5.30 30 to 7. I feel like my day was very packed today so unfortunately I'm not gonna make it to the gym which bums me out a little bit because I really wanted to work out today but can't work out every day. I will see you guys later. Hi everyone. Today has been such a long day. It's 6 30. I just got out of my club meeting. Prior to the club meeting I was going over the neuro cases with my group for two hours and again I felt like I was the only one who didn't know anything and I'm so overwhelmed. There's so much information which is nothing new like I totally expected this but this is just I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't know what I'm doing. Despite the fact that I am so exhausted right now, I have no choice but to go home and continue doing more neuro stuff because I'm just so behind and so lost that if I don't go home and do things, I'm just gonna feel even worse about myself. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and find a way to push through, even though all I wanna do is take a shower and then go to bed. All right, let's go through these plates together since I've literally been putting it off forever and I need to commit these to memory because they're going to be on the exam. So here's plate one, a cross-sectional cut through the sacral part of the spinal cord. So that would be fasciculus gracilis. That would be lateral cortical spinal tract, medullary vestibulospinal tract. No, reticulospinal tract. That's what I meant. Anterolateral system, lateral vestibulospinal tract, pontine reticulospinal tract, medial motor nucleus, lateral motor nucleus, posterior spinal arteries, anterior spinal arteries, ventral part, dorsal part, at least I'm pretty sure. Okay, here's the lumbar, vesiculus gracilis, dorsolateral funiculus, lateral cortical spinal tract, medullary reticulospinal tract, anterolateral system, pontine reticulospinal tract, lateral vestibulospinal tract, anterior corticospinal tract, medial motor nucleus, lateral motor nucleus. Okay, I know it seems like I know what I'm doing, but it's literally because I've been looking at this for the last 10 minutes. If you were to ask me this 30 minutes from now, I probably wouldn't remember any of them. See, this is the one I really should have recorded because if you saw me doing this one, then you would know what I mean when I say I literally know nothing because the only things I got right were these two and then everything else was wrong. We're only a week and a half into the semester and I'm already hitting a wall. It's already feeling so difficult to get out of bed and get work done. It's too early for this to be happening. Like it's too early in the semester for me to already be feeling this way. I was supposed to be up and doing work like an hour ago. I don't know, my alarm rang this morning. I turned it off and I literally fell back asleep for over an hour and I just really don't want to get up because I know there's so much on my agenda that I need to get done today. The list of tasks just seems daunting so I don't want to do it. <sighs> I'm about to head out to class. I have to review my case with my group from 10 to 12 and Eric actually needs to take the car today So he's gonna drop me off at school and then for the rest of the day I'm just gonna study at school, which if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, then you know, I I basically never do that. I don't like staying at school and studying I prefer to just be in the comfort of my home and study But since I don't have a way back home I'm just gonna stay on campus and study and then from about 5 to 6 or 5 to 7 tonight My friend and I are gonna go into the anatomy lab to review the gross structures of the brain since that is gonna be part of the exam. So that's what my day is looking like.
just got home from campus and I feel like I need to lay on the ground for the rest of my life because I'm so tired. I was studying on campus and then I ended up going into the anatomy lab to look at the gross brain structure. And initially I was just supposed to go in there with two of my friends. We had planned at the beginning of the week, let's go to the lab and review the structures. And then my professor sent out an email at like 9.30 yesterday and said that the TAs would be in there half the class was in that room. So it was just like super not productive for me at all. So I felt like I wasted another 45 minutes and I don't know what I learned today. Probably nothing. Okay guys, so it's 5.30 now. I just got home from campus. I had my full day on campus today doing clinical skills. This morning we had OMM and we learned a new technique called FPR. And honestly, it was a pretty like simple idea and it's supposed to be super effective, but I feel like my hands just weren't quite used to doing the movement yet. And I haven't quite mastered it, which is fine because literally this is the first time I ever learned it. But I'm sure once I practice a little more, I'll get better at it because honestly, OMM is one of the few things I'm actually half decent at. And then in clinical skills, we were given our rubrics because we're gonna have an exam next week. It's not supposed to be like a super high key stress stressful exam it's supposed to be like low-key and just practice but still stressful because it's a grade and it's called a test so stressful but again I'm sure that'll be fine because like I said clinical skills OMM it's one of the few things I'm actually half decent at and then I just got off the phone with my friend we were both basically just venting to each other about how we both feel totally stupid with neuro because we don't understand the tracks we don't understand how you're supposed to figure out where a lesion is based on a patient's presentation we tried to do some disease index questions together and we got them wrong we're both just lost and feeling like we don't know what the heck is going on. I know the other day I said I was feeling like I was the only one that felt that way, but he also says he feels that way. I feel like I feel that way more than he feels that way, but he's also kind of feeling it. So there's that. But at 7.30 tonight, my TA actually offered to hold like a Zoom session with me to help me review some of the material because I reached out to him last night and I was like, look, I really don't want to bother you, but I feel really stupid and I don't know what's going on because whenever you ask a question in class, every other student seems to know the answer right away. And while you're moving on to the next question, I'm still trying to figure out how they even got to the first answer to the first question. So he was like, yeah, let's just talk it out. Let me try to help you. So I'm really hoping that's helpful tonight because if it doesn't click tonight, I don't know what I'm gonna do because my exam is a week and a half away. And I still feel like I know nothing. Now that I'm done venting, I am gonna start studying again. As you can see, I am wearing shorts. For all I know, I might regret this because I might get bitten a gajillion times, but I was wearing sweatpants when I was walking to class this morning, but it was like 80 something degrees and it was way too hot. So I'm just gonna risk it. I sprayed myself a gajillion times. So hopefully that's enough to keep the bugs away. So happy Saturday. I forgot to close out the vlog last night, so I'm gonna close it out today. But for the rest of the weekend, I'm just gonna be studying. And even though I told you guys I have no idea what I'm doing, I sort of kind of do know what I'm doing at least a little bit because I just caught a mistake that somebody made in one of our shared documents. And usually if you don't know what's going on, if someone says the wrong thing, you're not even gonna realize it's the wrong thing because you don't know what the right thing is. Basically, this person had written that prior to the decussation in the lateral cortical spinal tract, your lesions would be ipsilateral. And when I was reading that, I was thinking, I'm pretty sure they should be contralateral in the lateral cortical spinal tract prior to the decussation. So I looked it up and I was right. So then I made the correction, but see that clearly I do know something because I was able to catch the mistake. Normally, if I don't know it, I would just not catch the mistake and I would just go along with it. At least we're making progress, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!